Salvona. I am Jessalyn, and I'm excited to share with you the first DevTools update of the year. Let's dive into Chrome 109. Firstly, we have three nice additions in the recorder panel. Now, you are able to remove the navigation step from the user flow, right-click at any step for further action, and copy the code to the clipboard. Open an existing user flow in the recorder. Previously, when you were replaying the user flow, DevTools would always refresh the page. That works well for most of the case. However, you might want to perform in-page automation without reloading the page. With the latest updates, the recorder shows both the set view port and navigation steps separately. You can right-click on the step and remove it. Keep replaying the user flow and add more coffee to the cart. By the way, I really like the new right-click menu. Previously, you had to move your mouse to the far right and click on the three-dot menu. Too much work. I'm glad we can right-click anywhere in the step now. Did you notice the new copy options? Instead of exporting the whole user flow, now you can copy only the step to the clipboard. It works with your extensions too. For example, you can copy the step as Nightwatch.js scripts. This way, you can paste and update any existing script with ease. Next, the performance panel now shows the actual function names in the trace if there is a source map. For example, in my code, I have a say hi function and a take a break function. However, this is not what the browser reads. The file is minified during production. Open the minified file, the say hi function becomes n and the take a break function becomes O. Previously, when you record a trace in the performance panel, the trace only shows you the minified function's names. Obviously, this makes it harder to debug. With the latest changes, DevTools now reads the source map and shows the actual function names. You can also click on the link to jump directly to the code. Next, we have two new shortcuts for the keyboard lowers one for the sources panel, and one for autocomplete. When you have multiple files open in the sources panel, you can switch between them using function, command, arrow up and down in macOS. If you are using Windows or Linux, use the control, page up, or down key. Apart from that, open the console and type window dot. You can use the arrow up and down to navigate the autocomplete list. For Emacs lowers, you can use the Ctrl N and Ctrl P as well. Next, two more interesting updates on advanced debugging. DevTools now evaluate new.target and weak ref reference directly during debugging. Have you heard of new.target before? It is a meta property that lets you detect whether a function was called using the new operator. Let's set a breakpoint in this function and execute it. In the console, you can lock any variables in this function to check their values. This applies to new.target as well. Previously, it would return errors when you entered new.target. We have fixed that. Apart from that, a weak ref objects lets you hold a weak reference to another object without preventing that object from getting garbage collected. Let's execute the code. DevTools added an inline preview for the value. In addition to that, now you can evaluate the weak reference directly in the console. Previously, you had to explicitly call the ref on them to resolve it. Time for a bonus tip. You can record and replay user flows with your real device. For example, here is my phone. Let me connect my phone to the laptop and enable the debugging mode. Once you connect the phone, you can open the Chrome Inspect page in your laptop. Look for the tab you want to test and click Inspect to open it. Open the recorder and start a new recording. Now, on my mobile phone, I will add a coffee to the cart and click to check out. The recorder will capture this step accordingly. All right, that's all for today. Remember to visit my blog post for more details with the links below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Ciao.